Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flitter Mouse. Today we have brought back the Bomber Slug. I had a few extra that Tim Hamilton from the channel Tactical Machinist, formerly called Tactical G-Code, sent to us. And Tim has come up with a lot of really cool designs that we have tested for him. And he also tests them himself, so be sure to check out his channel. Now since this slug has these big dimples on the nose of it, we want to see what effect they have on soft targets. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Alright, out here today reshooting the, uh, we call this the bomber slug. Yep. Backed by a dime. Okay, I'm ready. Of course, a slug is useless if it's not accurate. This is only about 10 yards away, but we've had slugs that were so inaccurate we couldn't even hit something at 10 yards. I don't even know what to call this design. Is it retro, futuristic, streamliner? I have no idea, but I really love the organic shape of this slug. It's almost a teardrop with fins on it, and it flew extremely stable. So there's the impact, almost dead center. So it's pretty accurate. And then, you probably can't see too much on film, but uh, there is a track all the way through there. And it comes out that little tiny... Came out here? Yeah. That's wow, the, that's the nice through shot. And, or... it, and it went into the shotgun nice and silver. It came out uh, pretty much exactly the same, just a little, just a little dirty. A little worse for wear. And aren't we all a little dirtier? Lock of clay. Okay, anytime you're ready. We got a fly on there too. Good. Wow. Look at that. Came flying back at me. Look I think that. I got some sprinkles of clay in my That's head. look at that though. Yeah. I've never seen that, a hole like that before. I thought it would blow it up apart. Really? Yeah. I've never seen that, that big of a hole. Now it's definitely a very unusual cavity for the clay block. Why it didn't blow into little pieces, I have no idea. It just blew a giant hole right through it. Now we only recovered the front half of the slug, just the nose. The tail assembly is gone. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Now we can't see the tail assembly tumbling off to the upper right of the screen on this shot. And in this shot we can see that the tail assembly and the nose assembly were separated. They both went right through the hole though. So despite losing the tail assembly, the slug was still accurate enough to hit pretty much dead center on that block. Oh, gosh. So we got a thing full of water beads. It, it doesn't look like it, but the, it's full of them. It's like holding on to an eyeball. It is just yeah. squishy goo. Like a, some kind of organ. Where do you find water beads? Oh, you can get them at uh, gardening shops and stuff. I got these at Orchard Oh, Spot. these are for like watering plants. Yeah, and decorations. You put, you put, it like, put those in a vase. Right. Here it goes. Look at all those balls <laughs> running around. <laughs> Here it goes. Wow. So it hit there. Exit. Now in this shot, we moved the, the target back to about 20 yards, maybe a little bit less. We didn't want to splash us or the cameras, of course. Now I was curious whether or not any of the little polymer water beads would actually survive the shock called hydrostatic shock uh, when this thing struck it. And as you can see, the tail assembly once again broke off on this, but you can see that a lot of the water beads are pulverized, but there are uh, quite a few of them still that are whole. Okay, hit it. Jeff's money shot. Holy oh, Lord. <laughs> I didn't know you'd gone pink. Holy oh, Lord. Now this is just cornstarch and water in, the, in a balloon. And the reason I use this is because of those dimples on the nose. I was hoping to see some kind of effect 
from those dimples but in all honesty we didn't really see any anything stand out because of those dimples tell me when you're ready I'm ready okay here we go wow that splattered too here we go Now the reason we're doing this shot over again is because I forgot to arm the Kronos camera in the first shot. Luckily I had a spare balloon, but we had to use a used slug from the gel shot, reload it in the field, and shoot it again, and we didn't think it would be able to hit it at all. But uh, Greg nailed that thing right in the center. Beautiful shot. Now the interesting thing about shooting a balloon full of oobleck with a powerful slug like this was the impact was so powerful that it just kind of knocked most of the moisture out of the cornstarch. All the, the stuff just landed dry on the ground for the most part. Now this is a dime that I put behind one of the slugs as a backing disc and it shows you how much force that slug is put under when it's fired. So you can understand why some of them actually broke. And there was a weak point in the middle of the bomber slug where it was drilled and tapped so the heavy steel nose could be threaded onto it. Look, this is what he's shooting with. Yeah, yeah if we can hit it, it's yeah. still pretty This impressive. is what we shot already, so if he can hit that, more power to you. I want to thank Laura Pratt for letting me use her music in my video. And also be sure to check out Tim's video where he did his own test with these slugs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.